Hello, everybody, oh. and welcome to Kids on Bikes. Uh, I am the Revenal Sarkhan. Uh, I am honored and uh, excited for this. Uh, and before we get started in the game, let's have everybody go uh, through their introductions, describe uh, the character that they're playing, uh, and then we'll, I'll set the scene and go through our, uh, our rewards uh, so everybody knows what page we're on. Nice. Uh, let's start with Kelly. You're, the, you're next to me in the order of things that I'm looking at. Nice. I am Kelly. How's it going, everybody? I'm Kelly. I use he and him as my pronouns tonight. I am playing Jesse Tibbetts, who I am just trying to find my PDF of right now. One sec. Uh, so Jesse Tibbetts is a kid that spent a lot of time in the hospital and is finally out, but he is uh, he's a germaphobe and uh, knows all sorts of stuff and is basically a young Theodore Roosevelt. Because he's a big, strapping dude who just happens to think he's a wimp. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's move on to Caitlin, who's next to you. Hello, I'm Caitlin. I use she, her pronouns. And today I'll be playing Darcy Baker. She is a little bit younger than the rest of the crew. Um, because she, her big brother used to be uh, part of the crew before he disappeared somehow so now she just wants to fit in be a part of the gang and yeah that's yeah. that okay and... she's a little bit scatterbrained a little bit ditzy i love it a little bit uh, yeah. and sorry let's wrap up with <laughs> jacob then hey i'm jacob i use he him pronouns i'm gonna play nicholas everstone um in the past he's lost someone very close to him and he's not gonna do everything to not let that happen again I like it. I like it. Uh, so moving on to the uh, donation breakdown, uh, I tried to be really simple with it. Um, Kids on Bikes is a simple system already. So for $5, you can uh, have a player re-roll their roll for good or for bad. Uh, for $10, you can have me re-roll a roll. Uh, for $25, you can give a specific player one extra adversity token. For $50, you can give the entire table an adversity token. And for $100, the classic Hollywood horror monster slithers into reality. Uh, and there is a super secret $200 donation bracket that you can summon uh, the immortal actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf into the <laughs> scenario. Uh, even though he was probably, he probably wasn't born the year that this is this game is set. So I'm, uh, I'm excited about explaining the timey wimey wibbly wobbly bullshit that happens he's fine he's eternal yeah he, no, it's, it's, it's he always has been and always will be transformers yeah he, the, the the truth about shia labeouf is that he robot. Is, sorry can't use transformers he is actually kane from vampire by the masquerade um, oh he's driving no, a taxi he's he driving a taxi uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you've never played kids on bikes it is a super simple system uh you have six stats uh fight flight bronze brains grit and charm and they each get one die type uh starting with a d4 as your weakest a d20 to your highest and when you roll uh you roll against a certain difficulty uh full transparency there the difficulty is usually going to be from 3 to 12. Uh, if it's anything higher than that i will not tell you uh but i will a, one of the fantastic things about the system is that failing in kids on bikes is always failing forward so if you fail a roll you get an adversity token and depending on how far you fail on the chart, uh, something changes the way the world uh, reacts to that. Um, adversity tokens can be used to power some of your strengths that you've chosen, uh, but they can also be used to alter roles. Uh, you can add plus one for every adversity token that you want to sacrifice for yourself, or you can add plus two per adversity token if you're giving it to a friend. Uh, and I think with that, if there's any questions or concerns, we can jump right into our little adventure uh, called A Sorrowful Awakening. Should be good. Excellent. The winter of 1692 saw a fever running through Salem, Massachusetts. This was not a fever of body, however, but a fever of the mind. A fever of distrust washed over and ebbed out through the whole of New England. Witches were hiding amongst God's flock. Satan's own were trying to corrupt and enslave his devoted. 
The Salem witch trials have been etched into historical records as one of the examples of humanity at its worst. A fear that seems hell-bent on trying to topple civilized society. As the further and further we get away from our dark past, however, the more we embrace it, it seems. We revel in it and, in fact, hoist up as a model for the next generation. That is in no way an allusion to what we saw during a certain presidency here in the United States. If we do not learn from the ghosts of our past, we are doomed to forever be haunted by them. In one fictional town, one that could very well be a mirror of your own surroundings, we find such a haunting. In Massachusetts Bay, we find the island of Ewart's Hollow. It was once a prosperous fishing and mining center. It is now a hub for ferries traveling to and from some of the busier cities in the bay. The mining veins that once drove the island's economies have all but dried out. The fishing has also begun to dwindle. And more and more, the once happy faces that have turned hard over the days have increased, even leaving to call some new place home. A sour taste dances on the morning breeze. For a couple of students of the Ewards Academy, the end of the summer is going to herald a true coming of age. New protocols have been enacted around the hollow quarry. Uh, children and young adults are, from the academy have been found floating in Sloan's Pond. Six such bodies have been found since May. A young girl, um, a young boy, a young man, a young lady, and the body of one teacher. Um, the, in truth... The Hollow Quarry has been a dangerous site for many years. The citizens of Ewards Hollow uh, have noted that there is always a story of someone getting hurt around every few years. You know, sometimes it's meaningless. Sometimes it's actual someone losing their life. Uh, in 1977, for example, a misplaced support beam shattered, bringing down the part of the tunnel on some young workers. Um, and it was relatively safe before that. There was the arson of 1972, though, that saw the death of a couple of kids that were snooping around the landing estate, as it is a historical site, and goes all the way back to the founding of the, the island. And though tragic, Ewards Hollow is not without its own sadness, uh, and some will claim that the hollow has been tormented since its founding. Some will claim that we bring our own misery onto ourselves. Who's to say who is right? We open... On a humid August weekend, it's the last free weekend the majority of children in Ewards Hollow have before going back to the academy. It is Thursday, August 12th, 1982. The days are growing shorter. The chill of fall is creeping ever closer. Eye of the Tiger by Survivor is at the top of the charts. Little Shop of Horrors has opened off-Broadway, and last month, the whole island was treated to a complete lunar eclipse. The deep orange, almost blood-red moon hung in the sky for almost two hours. Residents of the Overlook Apartments have reported lights flashing around Old Joseph's Church across the channel. And there have also been fishermen complaining of having their boats untied and left floating off of Pickett's Beach with their anchors down and their engines running. Stranger still is the reports of children playing in Joseph Smith Park late at night. The sheriff and his couple of deputies are stretched thin, responding to calls from all sides of the island. And unfortunately, the island's main physician, Dr. Alexander Willoughby, has left for Salem to care for his youngest son, Wilbur. The island is left in the care of his two fantastic nurses, Miss Elaine Statler and Mrs. Mary Ann Jacobson. A group of kids, mostly elementary and middle school, are gathering at the Outlook the traditional yearly sleepover kind of camping trip that is watched over by many of the scout masters uh, from off the island have come in. It is a busy, busy excursion. Some of the football players, rumor has it, are going to turn up and scare the bejesus out of these kids, as is tradition. Uh, but with the mantra of safety in numbers, uh, slithering from home to home, we find a trio of misfits uh, or misunderstood or just on the outside looking in that are, I would say, excited about the summer coming to a close. Um, 
school starting back up. However, the big event in October is the Haunted Happenings in Salem. The big festival. And yet, as August has only started, a darkness is rearing its head on the island. And the only question I have is, how will this small group of almost adults fare against the shadow of the witch? It is evening. It is getting a little chillier, but not nothing too crazy. It's still August, so the summer heat is letting up. The afternoon is coming to a close, and as the, the moon starts to creep up into visibility and the last vestiges of light are sucked away into the horizon, where do we find everyone? We normally have a place that we all hang out. Are we all together Soda or are we shop. all separate? Sure. The soda shop? I think, I think the yeah. arcade. Or the malt shop. The malt shoppy? Is there a malt shop? A, <laughs> I don't remember. I, this is before my time, but is was that a thing in the 80s? It was not a thing in the 80s. The, the, the remnant of what was a malt shop has been turned into a diner, but they still have some of the accoutrement littering the wall. It's kind of like a precursor to Bennigan's or Shenanigan's if you watch the Broken So Living is it movies. like one of those big, like, like steel Airstream trailer diners? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're we're there. What's it called? <laughs> you know, the it's the malt. Dime. Oh, the lucky dime. I was gonna say the malty falcon, but okay. I like I've that seen the malt teasers. Oh my gosh. Malty like malt teasers. I like those. Either one of those, uh, I will I will gladly sacrifice the lucky dime for. Uh, <laughs> that says Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers is an actual place. Yeah, that's yeah. a thing though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not not very many. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're at we're at malt Sorry, something. Have fun. Mm -hmm. the, oh, the there is time. a jukebox that has classic <laughs> like sixties and seventies hits. Nothing of the the contemporary music has made it in, so it's mostly like Beatles being played right now. Uh, there's a couple of the adults, uh, some at the bar. There is a couple uh, sharing a milkshake traditional date it looks like um they look like they graduated a few years ago from the academy uh so you probably never run into them mm. so yeah um jesse is going to be sitting at a booth i don't know if everybody else is present uh but he's flipping through uh his copy of House of Mystery number 307, August 1982. I like it. Which has like <laughs> a like a, this dead dude on the cover with his little kid looking down at him in the water from like his beachhead. The corpse that came in with the tide. Also, did you know you can Google every comic book that DC put out in a given month forever? Really? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You just go to DC fandom. It's it's interesting. I did not realize that. The internet okay. is so much better than it was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Way better yeah. than it was 40 years ago. <laughs> right? That right? too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think uh, would you guys have set up a meeting for each other? Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We likely would... would of plan to to meet here and sorry i spaced just a little bit when you were describing everything i just wanted to know that event that's happening the camping no yes. the sleepover thing mm -hmm. yeah when is it that is happening a... in relation to now it is it is going on tonight tonight um, okay yep uh, i got all my sh with me that's nice. fine <laughs> my backpack uh, they appreciate any of the uh high schoolers coming to join but they're not mandatory. It is normally a kind of camaraderie coming together for the uh, elementary and middle schoolers. Oh, uh, I see, to, I see. Yeah, to enforce the the fact that you're going to be seeing each other growing up because rarely do people leave the island. It's only been a thing that's happening in the last five years. 
numbers have started to dwindle. Uh, but you, all of you did hear that the football players, like the high school varsity team, is uh, is looking to crash the event. <clears throat> mm, so that, that then that begs the question, do we care that they're going to scare the Jesus out of the little kids? Correct. Mm. And, and does that give you PTSD to when they, when your yes. equivalent football players scared the Jesus out of you? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, mm. gotcha. Okay. Darcy will yep. burst in. Hey! Huh. Slam her hands on the table. What you reading? N n nothing much. Just, just this, um, uh, how, how, um. Are you scared? She's gonna. Okay, yeah, go ahead and take it. It's half a mystery. <laughs> Ooh. Why are the pages a little goopy? I don't because uh, it was. I, I got it at the Johnson's Piggly Wiggly. They always leave the comics right next to the cold foods. Oh, gross! She'll like toss it back on the table at you. Uh, yeah, but it's the only place in ever in 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 you words that actually carries comics. So. Mm. I'm yeah. reading uh, Saga of the Swamp Thing Volume Two. Nice. came out May 1982. Nice. You're still reading that one? Come on, that's like it's like four months old. <laughs> it's so good, though. Yeah. How many yeah, times have you read it now? Uh, about 15. I can almost do it word by word. Oh, gosh. Um, the waitress I, I... sneezes, wipes her hand across her face, and then puts on Don't Stop by Fleetwood Mac on the jukebox. Oh, good. She comes over. She's you guys having a milkshake? Yeah. Yes, uh, please. I'm 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 okay. Uh -huh. She puts her Are hand you on your shoulder. You you good? You look nervous. I uh, just um, you feeling a little under the weather? Oh, I'll, I'll brew you some tea. But, okay, sure. Oh, God. Mr. Everstone, anything for you? Uh, I'll take another uh, malt. Yeah, thanks. All right. And she goes over. You hear the machine start whirring. It's a little bit more mm, nervous than usual. She What's didn't that? wash her hands. No. I just don't want to get sick again. Oh. Uh... Well, don't read goopy comics. The comics aren't going to make me sick. Germs are going to make me yeah, sick. Do you understand viral pathology? Haven't you been paying attention to biology? No, 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 no. Biology is so boring. Biology is really uh, important. Is that the class I skip every now and then? It's the class yeah, you like skip me. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, what yeah. do you want to do? Door bursts open. Sorry, I was oh. uh, making a, a, a cutesy comment. Uh, door bursts open, and you guys recognize Gage Kavanaugh. He comes from the Kavanaugh clan. Um, yeah, they are the oldest uh, residing <laughs> family in Ewards Hollow. They have uh, one of the largest plots of land still, um, but he comes in. He's more down to earth. His older twin brother, who was born first, is much more of the snob. Uh, he is high class. Gage is salt of the earth. He's much more about the people, um, whereas his older brother is being groomed to take over the family business. Uh, but he rushes over to your table and just pushes uh, Nicholas. So he sits down on his side. <laughs> guys, guys. Guys, you heard about Don't... Varsity. Yeah. Yeah, the jerks are at it again. Mm -hmm. They do it every year, though, so it's not surprising. We, we gotta make it... a stand. Do... Do... Uh... Well, what can we do about it? I don't know. I had a plan, and now I don't have a plan anymore. Oh, no! What happened to your plan? Oh, yeah. This was it. This was this was the plan. It was just... To get us to figure out a plan? Your plan you was to make way. a plan. 
vacation Does that or no? Plan, we, make a, we make a plan together. We make oh. a plan together. So you had like ten percent of a plan then. That's generous. <laughs> but I'll take it. It's not much of a plan. I mean, you're the brains. Yeah, on, you're the brains. Yeah. Come on, Jesse. What are we gonna do about it? I I don't know. Like, what what should we do? Like, there's nothing to do. We should just not do anything. I don't know. I heard they're meeting at the Lansing Estate. Okay. Well, maybe we can figure out what they're trying to do, and then we can stop it. Like, yeah. you know, so they they yeah. do this, and then we go. Yeah, I just yeah, can't yeah. think of the words right now. Like yeah, block no, them, the... stop them. Block them, yeah. Rock like them, them. Opposite know. things, and they'll cancel each other out. Is what I'm saying. Could we do something to the? Are anyway. they getting there? Like deflate the tires so they can't do it? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I. If we, if we want to, he uh, reaches into his little pocket and pulls out a pocket knife that he flips open. Um, we can, uh, we can pump their tires. Explode. That way they yeah. can't. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not pop them. Let's just deflate them. Mm. I mean, tires are expensive. Do you really want to have to replace your tires? Oh, great. Marshall's here. <laughs> oh, Marshall will have a good plan. Thrown right into the fire. Marshall's <laughs> always good at coming up with plans. Marshall. Well, yeah. As you know, Marshall. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, please, you exposition dump. Uh, as you know, Marshall, there's like this big event that's coming. And... Um, uh, I feel like I was trying to talk to you and I kind of missed some of it, but um, <laughs> I think that there's like a bunch of football guys that are going to be like picking on some kids like they did to us when they, like we were kids. So we're trying oh. to figure out a way to stop them because, you know, like like paying it forward to the younger generation is kind of like, you know, kind of good. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right. Oh. I guess it'd be cool yeah. of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a young boy named Gage Kavanaugh who's there. Uh, who brought up the idea of uh, doing something to the varsity football players before they do something to the kids. This is a yearly tradition uh, of kind of like a going back to school uh, where they have a sleepover, camping uh, stuff on the school grounds for elementary and middle school killers, uh, kids so they can um, kind of build camaraderie with each other. Uh, but every year, the varsity team for the high school Scares the bejesus out of everybody, mm. and the teachers know, but they don't. They don't stop it. Well, no, of course they wouldn't. Ugh. Yeah, nobody cares about anybody, especially not adults. No. Yeah, and Gage just kind of like looks down. That's what my dad says. Man, your dad's not wrong. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, do you care about the adults, though? No. I mean, kinda. But that's but that that's 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 okay because we're kids. The ki adults are supposed to care about kids. Kids don't have to care about the adults. It's not the way it works. Yeah, Darcy's right. Yeah. Okay, so Lansing hmm. Estate. When do we want to meet up? Well, what time is it supposed to happen? Well, I mean, the kids are gathering now. Okay, but what when time are they, they going to get? When they meeting? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Well, oh well, maybe we should. Maybe we should go there now. Stake it out. Wait, not after my milkshake. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the milkshakes. <laughs> Wait, get, we can get them to go. Oh, is that a thing? The, why would you want to take your milkshake to the Lansing Estate? Yeah, you don't want to be like, yeah. and then jump it on their heads if needed. Blow our cover. Yeah, that place is creepy. Last thing you need is like a milkshake sound. You should relax yeah. and enjoy it. 
I mean, okay. I get, do I have to get a milkshake? Because I'm not, not really in the mood for a milkshake. Well, we can sit here watching us drink a milkshake. So it's up to you at that point. Also, is anyone ever not in the mood for a milkshake? Out of character, always. Pretty good. Uh, but the young lady comes over, hands each of you your drink. Uh, so two milkshakes and a tea. And then she looks down. Oh, Mr. Kavanaugh, good to see you. Hope your parents are doing well. He nods. Mr. Farley. Can I get you boys anything? And he shakes his head. Just a Coke. All right. One soda. And she goes up behind the counter again. <clears throat> Gage will show uh, Marshall his pocket knife. Hey, I thought about slashing the senior's tires. We should do that, right? Well, you should be careful, though. Right? If they catch you doing that, they'll be really angry. Yeah, can't we just like we can just take their um um the 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 the, the, the tips thing the um the caps of the tires oh, you played the tires let, yeah let the air out yeah just let the air out because then they don't have to buy new tires they just have to like th those those um ho hose caps oh, God, I don't know those things are like pretty cheap though I just don't want to put people out. Get some glue and just glue a pebble to the inside of the the in, the air input. I can get that some glue. Work? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, because it keeps pressure on the valve, right? Mm -hmm. That's really smart. I I have like I have model airplane glue at home. Okay, we can get we can Ooh, stop by and get that. Work. Yeah. What about sugar in the gas tank? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's the bikes. Thing, but... They they don't take gas. No, some of the seniors have cars. Oh, I'm sure they right. do. Oh, then let's uh, shave and cream their car. Sh sh shaving cream? I think th th the object is the, the the goal rather is to 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 not get them let them get to the kids. What's the yeah. shaving cream gonna do? I mean, minorly inconveniences them, but they could still drive the car. Yeah. We're gonna put that in the bad not. idea. Potato in <laughs> I like potato that you in the have exhaust. Bad idea. That, that still takes a little while, and, and, and it's banana. You mm. need banana. something that conforms. Yeah. Um. I thought that was like a joke on comedies. I think it works. I don't know. Have you ever done it? No, but mm. I mean, a, a potato should fit in a tailpipe. No. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Um, I feel like it's a shape. Yeah, my mom has a couple I'm... potatoes. Just make sure that you know you put the baked potato in the tailpipe and rub the keys all over the car, and not the other way around. Do we have to bake the potato before we put it in the tailpipe? You do. Should That's how potato? it fits. Oh. Okay. That makes okay. more sense. Mm. See, Nick, that those are good ideas. Mm. Uh, but she comes back with the soda, uh, and every time he does that, she comes by like he hides the knife, like he's not supposed to have it. Okay, so um, we just got to stop them from getting there. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we could do the shaving cream him. thing. Go ahead and deal with the car first, though. Because people with a bike can just jump in the car. Hmm. Is there a way we could steal their keys? Ooh. You want to steal the car? Keys. Okay, okay. That, that escalated rather quickly, <laughs> Nick. Oh. Yeah, no, just the well, keys. I well, can't drive can't, there's, it. There's not many can of them. Can anybody who, drive? Who, who owns the cars? <laughs> or hide hmm. the keys. Yeah, we could hide the keys, yeah. Mm. 
So who in the senior class or the the, the football team drives? Because it, it's always a select clique of people. Mm -hmm. There are two. The quarterback uh, has a car, and then the uh, prime wide receiver uh, who is being looked at for colleges, uh, he also has a car. Everybody else kind of like jumps in on their ride um but out of the whole senior class only like five or six people have cars mm. like that's how small one the class is and how small the island is okay so nobody that's related to us mm. yeah getting those keys might be kind of hard um mm. We could scare them. The Lansing estate is pretty, pretty creepy. Yeah. Give them a taste of their own medicine, maybe. Why is the Lansing estate estate so creepy? Like, what, what about it? What are the rumors? Uh, why don't you give me a rumor about the Lansing estate? I mean, devil worship. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Devil there are people out there that about. like, yeah, they worship, uh, they worship the devil, have yeah. bonfires be... and burn babies and stuff. Yeah, Maybe you should throw a pentagram on the guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There are rumors okay. about the witches hiding out in the Lansing estate back in the day. I don't want to deal with any witches. I mean, there's no witches today. Oh. <sighs> you don't know that. witches do you know, Jesse? A lot, yeah, how many of you seen? Out... I see you. You don't... <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't see the witches because they take the kids. <laughs> don't they yeah, eat our bones or something? I think that's rumors. giants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't we just... I, I don't know, like... Well, I don't want to damage anybody's car because if they catch us, I can't afford to pay for that. I mean, they won't catch us. Yeah, that's a bridge we we won't we won't have to cross. No. Okay. There's I got pegs boxes. on my bike. You can ride with me. Oh. What was it? There are boom boxes at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're huge. Yeah, right. Okay. Big old boxes. Yeah, it's 1982. <laughs> Too big for us to bring if we have one at home. No, you can put that on the back of a bike. You totally yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah, you just yeah. like tie it down with some rope it. or something. Yeah. Yeah. How are you gonna say anything? You know, you need you need Correct. that. Correct. Oh right, of course. Uh, um. All right, I'm gonna go start baking potatoes. Then, where do we want to meet up? <laughs> he he totally believes that uh, <laughs> he needs to bake potatoes to put them in tailpipes. What if we meet out out back mm -hmm. of the estate? Let's meet up in like an hour. Is that enough time to bake a potato? I've never baked a potato. I have no idea. Why don't you just order a baked potato? We're in a diner. Or it's like it'll a be box. Faster. Oh, Can we know, like... get two baked potatoes? Ooh, or should we get yeah, four, but two in each baked. one? My cousin used to work at a diner, and it takes... They have a whole lot of them prepared already, because it takes a long time. I can't believe I'm saying baked. this, because this is so gross, but... If you really want to scare them, and they're going into the estate... Are they going into the estate to spook them, or is it, like, out on the grounds? Gage does not know, he just knows that they're going to the estate. If it's inside, we could carry them. What do you mean, like on our backs? No, I mean like the movie. In oh! The we can get some Playing pig's blood potatoes. down at the market. Where are we going to get some pig's blood? Down at the market! Butcher. Are, people are going to ask us why we have pig's blood. That's, yeah. that's not very How do we get the pig's blood to the estate? Yep. We carry it on yep. our bikes. We won't be able to hide that. Yeah. How much is pig's blood these days? Not much. 
You thought about I mean, that? I'm using... counting my cents I have in my hand. I don't have very much money. <laughs> yeah. He pulls out, he pulls out like a wrinkled dollar bill. I do. It's like 25 cents or something. I have that much. Man, but like, cook other than it. that. I mean, like, Marshall, you're you're Scottish, right? Your last name's Farley? Don't, like, Scottish people use all sorts of weird shit wow. in their just food? Oh, do they? Just assuming yeah, I'm just assuming. Doesn't... Yeah, because he's a Scot. And that's well, the way it works. They have, like, haggis and stuff. And blood Marshall, pudding. Hey, that's just my last you name, Irish? Man. I don't Isn't really blood pudding English? That's racist. Okay. Shut up, Gage. I've never had hags. Sips milkshake. <laughs> I was wondering how long you were going to let Gage just continue talking out the side of his mouth. <laughs> Until somebody was just like, I'm done with him. Oh. But he does, he just kind of like leaves the money on the table. He looks down, dejected. Just trying to be conducive. Oh, yeah, you're doing your best. He's doing his best, guys. <laughs> Could try and scare them with uh, swamp thing style, and just get a whole bunch What's of like, moss on one of us. Yeah, go into the swamp. Yeah, that that sure that sounds great, Nick. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. No, we just do it from the mansion. We come out of the mansion with it on. I mean, we could just draw like pentagrams everywhere. Let's do that. Let's and have, put like, spooky candles and something. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I recorded yeah. the. Uh... I recorded and, the end of Rosemary's Baby onto a cassette tape just by chance. Okay. And it has that creepy chanting. We could play that if we can get Ooh. the, the boombox. Oh, okay. There. Yeah. Okay. So we have a plan. And he kind of and, adds. Uh, um, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Jesse. Jesse? Yeah, Jesse. Uh, mm -hmm. If you wanted to get some blood, though, we could, you could smear that, I don't know, places. We can draw the pentagrams in blood. I just don't think an amount, a huge amount, would be possible. Like one yeah, bucket? No, I don't. Like one bucket. Like one bucket? Put or it just in like a bucket. paint bucket. I mean, then okay. we could say it's paint. So are we not doing the potato thing? We could also do the potato thing. We can also do the potato thing. We can have awesome. multiple plans. I like this plan. Redundancy. Yes. What? What's a redundancy? Your face is a redundancy. <laughs> I don't know. You like speak words. It's because I've read a book. <sighs> Comics don't count. Yeah, unless I suppose I'm told you to read a book. I don't read a book. Yeah. Is there homework? Yeah, I'm with somewhere. him. Damn. All right, well, let's start collecting. What's Brooklyn going to do for us? I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like... I, I don't know, like, if you've ever read any, like, Edgar Allan Poe, like, uh, the cask of, um... Of armadillo? Armadillo? Of armadillo. How do you what, did it die? Of an armadillo? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you make it. It's a very casket. small it's like, casket. Look, it's about this guy who yeah, pisses like off this box, other guy. Right? So, the, the, so the first guy know. takes him down into the basement saying that he's got some some armadillo. It's kind of, uh -huh. it's kind of wine. It's armadillo wine. I don't know. I, I don't armadillo speak. Armadillo wine? They uh, make wine out gross. of armadillos? That's it's gross. not important that's what the wine's gross. made of. It's wine the, 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 He gets anyway. the guy drunk and is like, hey, I've got more wine in my basement. And he takes him down in we there and then... We can't though! Well, it sounds like those stories yeah. your parents tell you, like, don't take candy from strangers. But for adults, don't take wine from a weird guy selling you armadillo yeah. wine. <sighs> Yeah, in his basement. Cause it's <laughs> in his basement. Are yeah. you sick? I'm Are you sick, Marshall? <laughs> but it, it. Oh my gosh! I didn't my... know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't. The guy bricks that. the other guy up in the fucking basement. Oh. So it's just like those stories. <clears throat> Don't take weird wine from weird guys in their basement. Boom. Lesson Boom. learned. Why are we talking about alcohol? We can't buy alcohol. 
we're not we're not talking about buying alcohol. We're not talking about it's, buying. It's a story about. I don't know how wine. we started on here. No, I'm uh, saying it's a story I'm... about revenge. Okay. Oh, right. okay. You could have started oh, with oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I did like start with that. Story that starts right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go see if I can get the wine then the the pig's blood because. <laughs> The butcher knows my dad, and so. Wait, can you get oh, wine? There you go. No. Because we could just go hang out and drink wine. <laughs> oh, wine's gross. I'm gonna be able to get wine. Yeah. yeah. But you know, we gotta wine. save these kids first. Wine is bad grape juice. Yeah. Why would you ruin grape juice? Yeah. Do you guys no. think, like it, it? It's cultured. Like people like wine. It gets also gets you messed up. How much wine have you had? None, but my sister drinks a lot of it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, okay. my aunt. But she's like, too. yeah, right. And my dad drinks beer, so. Yeah, yeah. My dad drinks. My dad's let me try beer before. It's gross. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty gross. Yeah. Wine at least tastes kind of like juice. Kind of I a mean, bittery juice. Like if you close oh, your yeah. eyes and pretend. Yeah, it does. It's my mom a makes me well, juice. My mom got a blender and has been making mm -hmm. like uh, strawberry daiquiris recently. They're pretty good. What's that? You, oh yeah, what is it's that? Like, it's like strawberry and like. Yeah, we got uh, that. I like strawberry. Um, and like sugar and. Uh, uh -huh. What the hell is it? It's um, uh, vodka? Is it vodka that vodka? goes in there I don't or know rum? What that is. It might be rum. Is it rum? Oh. So it's rum. Well, anyway, I mean, that sounds fine though. It's, strawberry? It's, it's, it's like. It's yeah. like a strawberry milkshake, but with okay. alcohol, with like booze instead of like milk. That'll be interesting. Oh. It's like a, you know, kind of like an icy or a oh, slush yeah, puppy. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm following. Okay. Yeah. They're pretty All good. Right. Do you want to bring some of that? Yeah. Okay. You think you're right. good? Oh. Okay. See what I can do? Something to celebrate with. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. So we all got <laughs> something we're going to bring. Yeah. I'll bring myself. So we're going to order the baked potatoes here, no, I... or we're going to try and um... make them? <sighs> Let's order them here. This is easier. Okay. Uh, and he just kind of reaches into his pocket, pulls out some more loose change, and puts it on the table with his crumpled up $2 bills. And that's all I got to offer. Uh, she's going to rummage through her pockets. <laughs> Through her backpack. Yeah. Uh, I have 25 oops. cents. Nobody took wealthy as a strength. So. No. <laughs> what I take? Between the four of you, you can you can scrounge up about 10 bucks. Nice. That, that should be more than enough, right? Yeah. yeah. It's 82. How much can a baked potato cost in 82? How much could it cost? How much? <laughs> that was a... <laughs> Big potato in 1992. <laughs> uh, for the authenticity of it all. Yeah. Uh, but he, he leaves. And he does go, in fact, and try to get pig's blood. Nice. Perfect. So, okay, well, I well, I guess... Yeah, I guess I'll go home. I'll grab some stuff, too. To set the mood. All right. Is anybody, uh, like, gearing up? Are you guys going clandestinely dressed uh, all black ninja yeah, style all black. Or, I was uh, going to see if I had a black robe at home <laughs> pretty much already do all black so yeah. uh, well you do have you did have an older brother so he probably has like cloaks and stuff that he used for Halloween so you could true, run into true. stuff he might have been you know he was probably the grim reaper at one point so for sure yeah i will grab well, that and stuff it in my backpack candle. grab some candles stuff them in my backpack nice uh grab a little matchbox stuff it in my backpack yeah. wow inflation yeah. hurts man like sorry i looked up in <laughs> night so there's there's nothing well, between 1970 and, and 2010 but in 1970 a 10 pound bag of baked potatoes was 89 cents oh Wow. 
Um, hmm. A Big Mac was two fifty nine in eighty two. So okay. in nineteen eighty one, TGI Fridays charged a two ninety five for plain potato skins appetizer. Okay, so for a baked potato itself, probably like a buck fifty. Yeah, something like that. So you can get like one, two, maybe. Oh, I was yeah. so close. Shakes on here it says thirty five cents. I was very close. I said twenty. Yeah. Shake was thirty five. The eighties. I don't know. Nineteen eighty. It looks like from McDonald's. Oh. Man, yeah, I'm looking at eighty one. <laughs> It just made me angry all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. I am filled with rage. In 1982, a glass of wine costed 40 cents. I bet in 1982, their ice cream machine wasn't always broken either. <laughs> Asshole. The same ice cream machine. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, that's it's why it's always one. broken. That's why it was broken. Yeah, mood. As something from the 80s as well. I feel you, ice cream machine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Soul Omen looked it up and it was seven, $17 for a bottle of pig blood in 82. Ah, uh, that's bullshit. Damn. That's bullshit. There was that's no expensive. there was no way there was that much demand for pig's blood in 82. Well, that's ridiculous. All those Satanists uh, running around. I was going to say yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> like there was just a spike. Yeah. Indeed. That's the satanic panic right there. Fucking $17 <laughs> for a pig blood. <laughs> That's wild. Well, now I know how much favor the butcher's gonna incur from his from this guy's dad. Yeah, no uh, kidding. <laughs> a bottle of how big is this bottle? Is this like a like one of those ones that you, like goes on a water cooler? Mm. I, you know, for seventeen dollars, it better be. Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, yep. the movie. My best friend is a vampire from like eighty yes. seven, yes. and like because he he just went out and bought tons of was that that was Doctor Wilson, right? Yeah, from House. Yeah, I watched that movie it so is. many times when I was a kid. But, like, mm -hmm. they bought pig blood all the time. It was not that expensive. Everywhere, bro. There's no way he was making 17 bucks worth of fucking his <laughs> Dude, part -time my job. first job in the Midwest was $6 an hour. Or, no, it was five five twenty five when I worked underage. Yeah. There's no way right. that I would have had to... Sp I would have had to spend, like, 10 hours working for pig blood. Yeah. It wasn't that much for <laughs> anyway. me. My first job paid me five seventy five. so... Holy shit. Yeah. No. Shit's rough. You didn't grow up in Missouri, though, so good for you. No. No. <laughs> Sad. Uh, but we, anyway. we can fast forward to uh, you guys meeting up at the rear of the estate. Um, no cars are in the front, uh, so you've beaten the seniors or the, the varsity team to the estate. Uh, and gage is sitting there uh on the steps of the rear porch and he has a thick wine bottle sized uh kind of glass where of a dark reddish liquid nice yeah this is all i could get i hope this is enough is that actually big oh that'll be good <laughs> you if you pop it open it is some kind of blood it's very, smells that, that's rank. a bit more what? concerned than some kind of blood. Yeah. Where did you get that? You just need the to butcher. like sprinkle it around to like get the smell around. Not here. I also obviously. don't know if I'd be more concerned if you could distinguish by smell. That. Oh. Oh yeah. That's pig's blood. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> uh, Human or cow blood? blood? I brought him cow blood. blood yeah. <laughs> I brought some stuff too, not, so we should blood. be good. Oh, and I brought some paint and some glue. Mm, mm. Okay. Although I don't think we were doing right. the glue thing anymore, but I still got it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no. We, we got the fake potatoes. Redundancies. Yeah. So let's let's set the yeah, scene yeah. now, and then. Yeah. Yeah. Then they'll go in, be scared, and while they're be scared, we'll fiddle with their method of escape. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's give everybody a chance to earn some adversity. Uh, yeah. So the game lets you start with two adversity. Uh, since this is a charity stream, I'm going to give you one extra adversity. So you're going to start Ooh. off with three adversity. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a gentle story guide in June. <laughs> <laughs> I am generous I three with adversity. My with my gifts. Uh, so let's do a, let's do a brains roll. Oh man. 
Yeah. <laughs> Looking at some of these dice, it's going to be oh, really yeah. fantastic. Let's oh, yeah. Go. Come on. Let's Ooh. go. Oh, you got to be shitting oh, me. Oh, yeah. I got as so. high as I could get. I got nice. a five. I got a four. <laughs> I got a six. I got a so ride. the good thing about uh, about rolling the maximum is that you get to re-roll uh, oh. and add it to your total. So yeah, the dice explode. Oh, oh so that's fantastic yeah, for Darcy. Let's go again. Yeah, that's a D4. Well, I mean, D4 it's a D4. Marshall, so D20 for Jesse. Ooh. He's definitely the brains of the outfit. Oh, okay. And Nicholas a has a five. D10. He got a two. Uh, okay. Uh, if you rolled higher than five, or five or higher, uh, you succeeded. If you rolled lower than five, you get an adversity token for failing. Okay. Uh, there is a... The sound of an engine coming around towards the landing state kind of draws the attention of whoever oh. rolled under a five. Uh, if you rolled five or higher, though, you will hear the sound of a thump upstairs from the estate. Oh, the, shit, someone beat us. <clears throat> The Lansing Estate is technically a three-story building, but the third story is uh, an observatory. So it's it's rarely considered an actual floor. It's a two-story, huge kind of plantation home. Uh, it's a long rectangle, basically. The back porch uh, has the broken-out French doors um, that look like they, at one time, might have been stained glass of uh, super fancy um there's some remnant of the colored glass kind of shattered around the inside and outside uh more inside because it looks like people have broken their way into forced their way into the into the home uh, and the gardens that look like they used to have topiaries that you can see uh the misshapen and overgrown uh, framework of some kind of what could have been an artwork, like a homage to the Venus de Milo or things like that. Uh, just kind of weird humanoid shapes uh, of leafless uh, shrubbery of what once was. Um, but yeah, you hear a thump from upstairs. And then a little bit of like shuffling, a soft kind of someone trying oh. not to be heard that's kind of weird they're not really here yet how could someone beat us here i don't know you think someone else is trying the same thing oh what did you hear cage kind of oh, looks over we, we heard a thud and then kind of light shuffling there's someone in there what no i've been here for like 10 minutes i haven't heard anything they must have been here for 11 minutes then yeah. There's someone there. I don't think anybody could have been here for 11 minutes. Okay, Nick. <laughs> I would have heard somebody. My ears are like radar dishes. Huge. Well, you didn't hear that. I wouldn't anyway. say huge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Well, would, would you would you call a radar dish small? Real quick. Okay. All right. I didn't I didn't mean for this to turn into a shit on gauge party. <laughs> anyway, well, let's hide our bikes or something. But... Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a stairway that leads to the basement over here. We can hide them in there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do we want to go in the basement? Is that isn't that how all scary movies kind of I didn't say escalate? The, is the you're, basement? You're, you're too superstitious. That is a little superstitious. Yeah. Did you bring garlic in case there's a vampire too? Yeah. Yeah. I pulled out a bulb of garlic. Did you? Those You're witches. A dork. I don't think I don't think garlic works on witches. No, but if there's Those witches, there must be gar there must be vampires too. You know I don't what think works that's on how it works either. Anyway, he pulls let's out, go. Pulls out his pocket knife. This works on vampires. Works on witches too. Yeah. Is that Diversify like... your portfolio. My dad that says iron? that a lot. You like flashing that knife around a lot, Gage. Are you trying to compensate? What are you talking about? Compensate well, for what? Every chance you get, you whip out your knife. I just like this will work on it's... witches. I've got this. <laughs> this will work on vampires. I have a knife. Yeah. <laughs> he 
he looks down at it in his hand and then he closes it and puts it back in his pocket. I look at man, just you know. I thought I could be an adult and have a knife. Yeah, mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hadn't hadn't shit on you enough yet. So I <laughs> oh, okay. left out. All right. You had to I get mean, out of know. his system. Yeah, there's a quota. Yeah. I'm I'm all I'm also older than Caitlin, you know, we uh than Darcy. We could be we could be shitting on Darcy for being the youngest. Hey We're not gonna shit on the only girl here. Yeah. That's yeah. sexist. Oh, Okay. So you're gonna be sexist and racist, Gage? <laughs> no, no, racist. You're the racist. Plus, yeah, that sounds like what a racist you... would say. My not, brother was uh, highly I don't respected even think in I'm this actually group. Scottish. <laughs> it feels like the wheels have been turning forever. On that. Uh, but he goes and just dejectedly grabs his bicycle and and just forces it down the stairs uh, into the basement. Um, and as it falls, it hits the door, and you hear the the latch unlock and the creepiest oh. creak of a door opening. Gage, that was so loud. I, I, she says fairly loudly. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I, that wasn't the goal of the. I didn't set out to make the loudest noise possible. And then he hushes himself. This is, it's, this is, not my fault. Okay. If anything, it's Nicholas's fault for bringing stupid garlic to a party. <laughs> garlic to a witch party? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like garlic, okay? Bringing garlic to I a give witch it party. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we've smelled your breath, Nick. Let's go. Mm. We gotta be here. They could be here any moment. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, what are you guys going to do with your there. bikes? <laughs> You're going to go in down the basement? Yeah, put them in the basement. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He thinks that's fine. Yeah, uh, Gage is the last one. He just like sees all of you put your bicycles in the basement. He's just like, um, this is how scary movies start. Yeah, well, I've already we're mentioned that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you also brought garlic, and he <laughs> brings his bike. My mom asked me to pick up garlic on the way home. I figured on the way here, so I don't forget. Okay. Okay. okay sure. So, so we what all if believe we do that run story. Into a vampire. Are you just going to have garlic? Have garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you have a cross too, Nicholas? Did you bring I your have cross? A cross. Just you're not helping the situation. <laughs> See, Jesse carries his lucky cross. I knew he would have one. It's not a lucky, a lucky cross. cross. Like I What? You you always have it with you. As soon as lucky. Yeah, because I go to church, church jackass. Church. <laughs> it's not a lucky like cross. Yeah, it wasn't lucky for Jesus. It's your truth. <laughs> anyway, she's going to like yeah. kind of scurry ahead to set the scene. <laughs> there so are on a mission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are boxes strewn about that look like they've been uh, molded over. Uh, decaying. Some of them have the white sheets that are traditional uh, in haunted houses. Whenever you want to hide furniture, you always have those mm -hmm. dusty white sheets. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a couple of human-shaped white sheets off to the side that are lined up. There's about 12 of them. Ooh. I don't mind that. Uh, they're, they're I'm, I'm going like to pull the sheet off. Them. <laughs> yeah, they're not uniform, uh, but they are kind of uh, scattered, uh, even dozen. And as uh, Nicholas pulls one of the sheets off, it's a mannequin. Old, like, oh. early, oh. early 1900s mannequin. That's creepy. Yeah, it's the, a little creepy. Put it back. The Put it face back. is excruciatingly detailed to look like a human. Oh. oh. They must this have been weirdos. Does the face look familiar? No, no, not to you. Um, and as uh, as Gage turns on his flashlight and points it up at it, you see the the glass eyes kind of reflect the light and make it look like they're they've been crying. <laughs> That's creepy. Oh, put the sheep back. That's gross. <laughs> oh my god. Why would what you do that? Nick? These to scare the seniors. <laughs> yeah, that'll work because I'm tight. 
A lot oh, of dust here. Are you also allergic to armadillos? <laughs> He's allergic to creepy allergic things. Allergic to dust. Oh no, we're in the basement, just like the armadillos. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, shut okay, the fuck let's up. get out of the basement. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we can find some armadillo wine down here. Yeah. Oh, uh, mine's gross. This. Let's give you guys another chance for adversity. Um, <laughs> make a, make another brains roll to oh to see if you can spot the stairs as Gage there swings we go. the light around. Sixteen bitches. Whoa! Oh, I exploded. Ooh, two. Nice. And two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I got an eleven. Eleven. Excellent. That's a, nice. Better than before. Only because I exploded. Yeah. I got a ten and then a one. Yeah. Uh, so if you get high, if you got higher than a five, you succeeded. If you got lower than a five, you get another adversity token. Nice. So it's not terrible. Um, but if you got lower than a five, again, you hear the thump. Um, this time it's a little bit more muffled oh. since you're inside the house and you have a, a whole floor separating you from it. Uh, if you got higher than a five, there's a, a corner as Gage swings the light away from the scary mannequin um, that you see a stairway that goes up. It's wooden. It is. It looks rickety as all get out. Um, it looks like if it could break under <laughs> the strain of your looking at it, it would. Hmm. But it is the only way up down here, unless you go outside. Okay, um, we'll just go up here. That's fine. Oh, sh what? There's the thump again. Oh, where? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's. Oh, that. Just, it look. It looks like. It looks like crap. We'll just go one at a time. Okay. It does look like crap. Nick, okay, you well, go I'm first. <laughs> the latest. The light, oh, yeah, yeah, Nick, light you go first. Yeah, yeah, but Nick's yeah. expendable. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, Nick, you go first. I'll go Wait. second. I mean, if Nick clears it, we should be fine, right? He's, he's yeah. the biggest. You're the bravest, Nick. You should go. Yeah, yeah, bravest, I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're the bravest. Because you don't have anything um, to compensate for, right? You're, you're, you're bickus dickus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine, I guess I'll go Little first. <laughs> Come on, man. Show you're the wiener king. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to give you a choice. Uh, you can either choose flight or grit to climb the stairs. I'm going to choose grit. <laughs> just. <laughs> okay. Just... The uh, the first step you you climb onto <laughs> creaks, strains, oh. and makes the weirdest wood bending noise you've ever heard like it is Bubba? creepier Bubba. than any vincent price movie you've seen so far Ooh. Ooh, that's Ooh. okay what'd you get i got a five. Oh, five. five <clears throat> the second step you hear a snap but it does not break Ooh. and as you climb ever so slowly up the stairs everyone every single step you put your foot on feels like it is going to just let you fall onto whatever's underneath this stairway. You don't know. It's just a sheeted, uh, angled mess of accumulated stuff. But you make it all the way up the steps to the door, and you notice that it is ajar. It opens inward, so you can peek around and kind of look down the hallway towards the rest of the estate. Okay, guys. I guess it's safe. I made it up. Come on. All right. Darcy's gonna go. Okay. Don't be cowards. So oh. you're, you're stepping into the into the the hallway? Uh, oh, just, he's gonna go up the stairs. Oh, just, no, just no, no, lightly. Just Nicholas. lightly, sorry, just sorry. to make it so that other people come up as well. Okay. I'm not like fully in the hallway yet. Yeah, the uh, the moment you op you grab the door handle to open it, it is cold as ice. 
and there it feels like stepping through the threshold into the house itself it's the same effect that you get from like the air conditioner whenever you're walking into uh like a like a store or something just kind of like buffets you and as you step in the hallway itself is just littered with spider webs oh, oh the spiders is here but hey they got ac it's nice and cool <laughs> It doesn't stick with you. It's just on the threshold. Well, yeah, but I still notice that you said felt like AC. I'm just gonna yeah. say yeah, they yeah. got AC here. Yeah, it is a jet of just cold air that buffets you. Uh, what did Darcy get for? Ooh, and what Darcy did roll. Or, I was or... gonna roll flight. Okay. <laughs> Darcy got an eight. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it's a little, it's a little similar. There's creaking, uh, and even though. You saw that Nicholas was methodical and slow in his ascent. Uh, copying him, the noises are still there. They're very much the same kind of noises. The, the second step also snaps, but does not break. Uh, and the same thing, once you cross the threshold into the hallway, there is this buffet of cold air, and there is this drab gray hallway. You don't hear anything uh, from outside. Uh, even the engine that you kind of heard pulling up when you were crawling into the basement uh, or creeping into the basement, rather, uh, is now non-existent. I don't know if we have to set the scene too much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> way less when I went up the stairs. Yeah. Who's going up next? I did not. Uh, I'll, I'll go next. <laughs> Okay. Flight or grit? Let's pick. Gr oh, flight. Yeah. That's a much better choice. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. All right, where's my. Dial? Yeah, just take it like three steps at a time. Just. <laughs> <laughs> you can't break if I'm not there. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Seeing the two examples you've had before you, um, you know to skip the second step. Um, and so the, the, the lunge onto the third step, it looks frightening. It looks terrifying. Um, but there's no snap on the third step. And you start taking them an extra step at a time. Um, and you come up and you feel the same thing. There's that buffet of cold air, the cobwebs the long dead spiders kind of husked here and there little legs uh, long forgotten and left to kind of turn to dust Ooh. what is jesse gonna roll to go up these steps he's gonna roll grit he was red with the ac i like it yeah that's a nine cold. nice yeah uh you do a mixture of the uh, martial technique, um, skipping steps here and there. Um, you've skipped the second step as well, and you've made your way up, uh, seeing, fe feeling the same thing, sensing the same thing. Uh, and outside now, you hear Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band's night moves start playing. It sounds like it's it's a chorus though. So it's somebody somebody has either just turned on the radio to catch it, or somebody had this prepped on uh, their tape, mm -hmm. their tape deck. Uh, I rolled a five for Gage, and so he ascends. But as he does, the second step snaps and finally gives way. But he manages to catch himself. Ooh. Uh, and he follows you upstairs and he the moment he crosses the threshold he just like brings his arms up to his, to his side and just kind of starts rubbing himself oh man i've never felt that before that's that's creepy very much so we won't have to set the scene very much at all anyway she's gonna open yeah. her bag rummage through it grab her cloak put it on let's go Yo, okay well you did you want to warn us about this what 
you you look like death. That's the point. Okay, and then you see him kind of put his hand <laughs> in front of the 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 flashlight, so he only he cuts his cone of light down. Nice, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta be careful with whoever's upstairs. That's true. That's why I'm whispering. Yeah, no, I I, I noticed. <laughs> That's why I'm thanks. whispering. Nice. Yeah, thank you. No, if someone's here, should we still try and do the pig's blood? Hey, Nicholas, whisper. Yes. <laughs> Jeepers, sorry. Nicholas. Come on, man. I didn't think I was talking too loud. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. You might as well have a bullhorn. <laughs> All right, Jesse, what do we do? What's the plan? Um, I don't know. This place is pretty freaking spooky already. Yeah, right? So, so you want to um, try to bring them into the house? Yeah, let's try to lure them in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. I guess. Um, we could set it up and the... then, like, flick on the... Yeah. Yeah, oh, let's turn... No do any of... Is there electricity? I don't know. I don't know if this house ever had anybody living in it when electricity was uh, invented. Yeah, it's fair. This place is pretty freaking old. Yeah. Well, maybe when I light the candles... Pull candles out of her bag. But candles too? Yeah. Are you gonna summon Satan? No. But we're gonna make it look like we're gonna. Okay. That was the whole point. Yeah, that's the whole point. Weren't you paying attention? Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I didn't know how far we were gonna go with this. All I brought was. You gotta the go blood. far to scare them. You what if, far what enough that you brought blood. Do summon Satan. <laughs> You guys told me to bring blood. And then you hear a thump upstairs. Oh, shit. Gotta do this. Okay, who the hell is here? I don't know. I don't want to find out either. You think there's like some guy out front taking names for a list? Like their reservations? Is there anything lying around like a. Uh, that's, <laughs> you know, kind of cudgel like? Well, there's a cudgel. Uh, but we, that, that's irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't touch that. You didn't want There's that. a great club that does 1d12 damage. Um, Whoa. Is there a baseball bat with nails through it? You have any good ones. There's a baseball bat with lapress on nails through it. That's in, in the hallway yeah. itself, there is no items. Yeah. Uh, and you can see that the sconces do have uh, kind of candles that are been eaten away at some length here and there. Definitely predates electricity. Behind you, to the left, as you come out of the basement, uh, you can see what looks to be a kitchen. The swinging door looks to be off of its top hinge, so it's angled uh, and just kind of sits there. To the right, as you come out of the basement, there is what looks to be a living area, large, and there is a couch-shaped white sheet that is visible uh, through some of the cobwebs. Anything to look like candlesticks are being covered, or uh, you lean over and it looks like the top of a ledge that would sit on top of a fireplace. I'll check out upstairs, and he's gonna assume that there's a candlestick underneath there, sure, and uh, and get it as you know some sort of protection. Yeah, you step into the large uh, welcome room, the kind of sunroom as it was. There is a couch-shaped uh, sheet there, like I said. Uh, opposite of it, there is a chaise lounge, a kind of fainting couch-shaped sheet. Uh, and there is a fireplace. And uh, on top of it, it does look like there's these heavily spider-webbed candelabras there's uh kind of trident uh two of them in particular one on either side of the uh i forget what it's called but the little ledge on top of the fireplace mantle uh the mantle thank you i lived in denver i had a fireplace i know these i know these words <laughs> uh but yeah there's two of them uh and it looks like there's a sheet covering a large, uh, and I say large, but it's for the time period, it might have been just modest, a three and a half foot wide by about six foot tall 
uh, framed painting is what you're imagining underneath there. Uh, but it's off to the side. It looks like it might have been hanging on top of the fireplace at some point. Is there a uh, fire poker? There is. Ooh. There is a fire poker. There's Can a little I grab a fire poker? Too. Sure. Why are you wasting time? Darcy's going to be trying to like litter candles around and okay. I don't then know. You, you start doing that. We'll check yeah. upstairs. Just make sure that you know we're not going to get interrupted. We, we shouldn't split yeah. up. That's how the bad things always happen. Uh, we're only going upstairs. We, yeah, we're not splitting up. Splitting up at all is how the bad things happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, not a like, movie, Nick. We can also space ourselves out evenly, and that way, technically, we're all still part of the same group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I learned that from the D&D group. Right. Nerds. So, <laughs> oh. Oh, isn't, isn't that, that part that of the whole, like, game? satanic thing? Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Sorry, Jesse. I forgot you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, consider your character down a level next time we play. <laughs> Can you just do that? I've never played. Uh-huh, yeah, that tell life. that to your half-elf ranger. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are Out of character, about. how did you know I'd play a half-elf ranger? <laughs> your <name's> Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your head. Uh, but Gage goes over to the window. I don't, I don't see any cars out front. So, then we still have I'll time. Keep a yeah, yeah, keep a nice, lookout. Nice. Yeah, good job. Wait, wait. Yeah. Hmm. Then who was playing Bob Seeger? What do you mean? I didn't hear any Bob Seeger. When we came up, didn't everyone hear Bob Seeger? I I didn't. Did you guys hear Bob Seeger? I was I was thinking I was too busy focusing on the plan. Are you no, okay? No, I, I didn't hear anything. Wait. Are you hearing anyway, voices? we don't have time for this. Okay, so who's going upstairs? <laughs> and he oh. keeps he like keeps keeps darting out the window back to the group, out the window back to the group. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go check it out. Okay, Nick, do you want to go with him so you don't split up the group? I guess, but that's not the bad things happen. But I'll go with him. Yeah, you've got the fire poker. Yeah, you've got the I knife. Like you go with him. Hmm. Both of us. Gotta keep watch. Yeah. Look, Nick, if you don't think anything's gonna happen, you can go first. And then yeah. we'll be safer. No, yeah. I'll go second, but I'll go with you. <laughs> Darn. Oh, gee. All yeah. these brave boys. Yeah. I'll Goes stay back, back here. Doing with what you. she's doing. <laughs> All right. Hey. Well, do you want to set shit up too? Jesse, do you want to hold the knife then? Yeah. Oh, do I want to hold your knife? Yeah. <laughs> I got to I gotta keep watch. Like your you actual protect... knife, or is this something something weird? You're gross. Yeah, you're and gross. The moment he gets loud, you hear the thump upstairs. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Do we hear the thump upstairs? Yeah, everybody yeah. hears the thump upstairs. What was that? Raccoon? <laughs> You're going towards it. It might oh, be, it the could raccoon. be a raccoon. It could be a raccoon, yeah. yeah. It's a big then, fucking raccoon. Yeah, it sounds like yeah, a raccoon. Sometimes like a, they're a pretty well big. Mm. Yeah. And uh, Gage will the toss. The size of a dog. Right. Gage Straight will cat. underhand toss Jesse the knife. So if you want to do a flight roll for me, to catch the knife? To catch the knife. Oh boy, this knife is gone. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's a that's a two, two. Right. Well, you get an adversity token. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with no warning, Gage just kind of like here, Jess, and tosses the knife at you. It's closed, so there's no fear of you hurting yourself. Uh, but this is a, a sports thing. This is not your forte. <laughs> you just throw uh, a fucking knife at me. It was closed. Yeah, don't you be a woods. You can't catch a knife. 
It's not even. It's not even bigger than my middle finger. And he shows you his middle finger. <laughs> Way to fail your saving throw, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. Find find the knife. You heard it clatter to the ground and slide, but. You should find the knife, asshole. And I'll just look, look around for it. <laughs> uh, the gentleman going upstairs, the boys going upstairs, uh, you see that in this side room has a small uh, stairway that kind of goes up and then hooks around. There's a little landing. Um, it looks like there's some small table set up in the corner with something on it because there's a, there's this draped white sheet that kind of looks like a little halfling sized ghost uh, and as you start climbing up the stairs you feel a breeze and it flutters the bottom of it a little bit uh, and it does look like there's some kind of three-legged table wooden um sitting up there so it's nothing too frightening but you come up and as you get to the landing and climb upstairs you see that this is uh what is a side stairway so this leads to a different part of the house than regular kind of foyer or upstairs kind of uh gathering area, the landing, things like that. Uh, and as you come up, you can see that there's a door to a room, the archway that leads to another hallway that stretches down that side of the house. Uh, and you see what looks to be two different doors inside the hallway. Uh, and there looks to be another set of stairs that go down into the kitchen itself. And no sign of anything on the ground or no sign of anything so far here. The doors are closed. I, I think this might be the servants' quarters. Are they still here? I hope not. Well, me too, but that's why we're checking it out. Okay, um, I'm going to go and open up one of the doors slowly. Okay. The one at the top of the stairs or one of the two in the hallway? At one of the top of the stairs. All right. The, you touch the door handle again, frozen cold. Um, it is unlocked, though, and it turns. And as it opens, there is this soft, gentle kind of caress of a breeze that hits you. It's an empty room. The windows look to have been shattered. Not in, but out. Everything else that you've seen so far has a little bit of breaking uh, brokenness to it that always kind of forces itself in like somebody was trying to come in. This looks the other way out. This looks like somebody wanted to not be inside this room. That's creepy. Let me get brain rolls from the two of you. Uh, so we're wait, we're rolling uh, brains. Brain. Yeah, brains. Brains. <laughs> brains. <laughs> I got an eight. Okay. Mm. Uh, as you and Marshall step into the room. You notice that there are just this wild set of scratches on the walls. Some are three digits thick. Some are four lines. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. It just looks like something inhuman was trying to claw its way out of this room. It kind of looks like Wolverine was in here. Yeah, but he's not real. <laughs> how, how long were they trying to get out of here for? Oh, wait, no, I didn't get that high a brain's roll. Never mind. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I would have pointed out. Wow, look oh, at all I... those gouges. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have pointed out to him. Yeah. They must have had a cat. <laughs> this is very, very creepy here. Yeah, you're not kidding. Let's, let's, they set let's, this all up. Let's go check the next room. Okay. Yeah, and as we're leaving, I kind of leave the door open, and, but I grip the, uh, the fire poker more. Okay. Uh, as you go to move on to the next door downstairs, uh, if I could have Jesse do a brains roll to try and find this knife. 16. <laughs> 16. Ooh. Uh, very easily found. It didn't scatter off too much. Uh, you can see the bottom, like half of it has slid underneath a little bit of the blanket, uh, the kind of tarp that is covering the uh, fainting couch. Uh, and as you grab it and pull on it, it feels like something, someone is pulling on it from underneath the couch. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Darcy. <laughs> what? What? Let go of the knife. Come on. I'm being scary. What? What are you talking about? She's going to like pop around the corner with two candles in her hands. I'll let go of the knife. Gage Gage is still at the window. Going to let go of the knife. and jerk. She's going to walk back into the other room. Did you find the knife? It's stuck under here. Somebody's holding on to it. What do you mean somebody's holding on to it? It feels like somebody's else. holding on to it. Just. All right, come over here so you can keep watch. It's just, it's just, okay. And he gives you the flashlight. And he goes over. Oh, man. It's right here. And he grabs it. <clears throat> the moment he grabs it, the floor gives way. And him and the couch go down into the basement. Whoa. Oh, Gage! Oh, shit! Gage! Oh, was a huge crash. We hear that upstairs? Uh, yep. Come Darcy right will drop your... her candles and... Yeah, right oh, as you're about to go for the light. next door, crash comes from downstairs. And a thump comes from somewhere down the hall. What? I'm gonna run downstairs. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> uh, run over to the hole and look down the hole and point the flashlight down to see if Gage is alive. Yeah. Uh, he looks like he's knocked out. He's got the fainting couch on top of him, uh, oh. but the knife is squarely in his fist. Gage! Oh, Gage! Shit. No response. The two, the two guys that went upstairs come around the corner. What the hell was that loud noise? The couch fell through the, the floor with Gage. The floor. Yeah. Couch fell through the floor? Yeah. It suddenly gave way. I'm going to run downstairs to the basement. Or okay. lower myself if it doesn't look like it. Yeah. It's accessible uh, from where we were. Yeah, no, you go to the door to the basement and looking down at the basement you were in when you came up, these are not connected. Oh, it's a secret basement. Um, How? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Am I? He kind of does that. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Didn't the basement have? Go back over to look at where it gauges. See if it's yep. if it looks like the old basement. It doesn't. It looks completely different. Does anybody notice something about the basement? Yeah, um, I don't, doesn't look like anything like that we saw already. Yeah. Shit, so how are okay. we going to get down there? I, ju jump? How, how far down is it? Uh, with the way the couch is, is falling on top of Gage, uh, you could probably hop down onto it. It's seven foot drop, eight foot drop. If we jump down on it, would Gage be hurt by it? Do we yes. think Gage is hurt him? by that? Yeah. You might I'm wake him up, though. I'm going to try to 
<laughs> I'm gonna try to jump down, but not on the couch on Gage. <laughs> kind of avoiding it. All right, uh, I will let you choose flight or brawn then, or even oh. grit. Ooh, uh, flight. I'm trying to okay. be a little. Come on, gritty, you got this. Dexterous. <laughs> I'm not as I'm not as gritty as as some people, but okay. I'm quite flighty. Uh, ah. Yeah. Fifteen. Very very easy for you. This is something child's play at best, kind of looking down. It's rough. Uh, it's not an easy landing, but you do manage to kind of avoid the couch entirely. And down here, you will notice that there's a huge uh, open area. Uh, this kind of looks like it could easily eat up two or three of the basements that you were in uh, when you were coming into the house. Uh, and down here, you'll see that there's just two three dozen, maybe even four dozen mannequins. Uh, some of them aren't even adults. There's children-sized mannequins Ooh. here. There's white Anglo-Saxon mannequins. There's black mannequins. There's uh, indigenous colored mannequins. Like there's the amount of detail is Ooh. frightening. These people are really weird. They got more of those creepy dolls over here. Anyway. You, uh, uh, Gage, I guess. I guess she's going to try to, like, shake Gage awake. Yeah. He, he starts to, uh, uh, why did it, does it feel like a hut? A truck hit me. I don't know if I can lift this by myself. So I guess she'll try to lift the. Yeah. You hear him start to scream. Him. Uh, and then he stops himself and he groans. <gasps> I think my arm. I think my arm's broken. I think my arm's broken. Kate, Kate, we'll 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 help you. We'll help you. Okay, okay. What do I do? Just try to stay calm. And she's mm -hmm. gonna try to lift the couch off of him. Okay. Uh, you will hear Darcy. <sighs> Yeah. Everybody else sees Darcy land, and the moment she tries to help Gage, he yells out this painful yell, and then tries to hold himself. And he talks about how he has—he thinks his arm's broken. What was that? What? What? Uh, someone was spreading my name really creepily. I don't like this. She's gonna try harder to get the couch off of him. <laughs> Yeah, uh, brawn or grit to try and move the couch by yourself. Let's go brawn. A door uh, slams closed upstairs. Oh, shit. Upstairs, upstairs? <laughs> that's a four. Upstairs, upstairs. Okay, so that's another grit for Darcy. <laughs> another uh, adversary token. Another adversary token, rather. Uh, um, and you... Can I right use an adversary token to add plus two to that? Sure. Uh, they got hmm. my um, loyal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, use an adversary right. token to help uh, give plus two. Yeah. Uh, so that'll bring you up to eight? Five. Five. No, I only got a three. Oh, wait, three. I got a, a three plus a one was a four, so that's a six. Sorry. I can ask because I get a plus one for, for yeah. one. It is still yeah. not enough to oh. to lift this okay. couch. I need uh, I need some help. Oh, okay, sure. I'll come down. Okay. So Geronimo, flight, flight or <laughs> brawn or grit. Brawn, grit. Ooh, grit. Ooh, brawn. It is. D twelve. Don't fail me now. Yeah, Ooh. that is. Uh, that's a s uh, 13, 16 with the 16. plus one. Yeah, I, nice. I rolled a 12 and it exploded. Nice. <laughs> nice. Good job. Uh, Rolling you, all the 16s today. you do the sign of the cross and you throw yourself into the, into the basement uh, and your body takes the shock. Your, your, the balls of your feet land first, then the heels, and then you just kind of bend your knees to take, to absorb all of that. Uh, 
It is rough, Thank you. but you, well, you bring the light with you and you can now shine the light. Um, it looks like Holy that, smokes, this place is huge. That Chinese uh, conqueror's tomb where it just has the clay statues, the terracotta mm. army. But it's it's families of uh, mannequins. Okay, this is... Why the hell You're not sure... Even... Darcy, but the moment that he mm. brings the light down, it kind of looks like some of the mannequins have moved closer. Oh, I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like this at all. This is really creepy. It just, we just need to get this off and then we can all go home and forget this ever happened. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, so Rip to the elementary side, schoolers, okay. middle schoolers. Okay. Uh, for Nicholas and Marshall, you'll hear a door swing open. Like, you'll hear the creak and the the handle hitting the wall. Uh, what door does it sound like open? Was it upstairs or...? It... it is upstairs. It is exactly the one at the top of the landing. And then it slams closed again. Uh, hey, guys, someone's here. Like, here, here. Like driving up? No, like in the house here. Someone? Not just an animal? They opened a door. Raccoons can open doors. Animal? <laughs> raccoons can open doors. <laughs> Guys, it's just a raccoon. <laughs> Don't even worry Trust about me. it. <laughs> Gage, you want to account. I'm not going to trust your judgment right now, okay? Oh, no, that, that, that's me as a storyteller. Just like, Guys, it's just a record. Yeah. You probably have a concussion. I don't trust <laughs> your judgment. Yeah, no, no. Gage, Gage is like, I don't think it's a record anymore. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's a record. I don't think I don't think it's a record. It's probably an armadillo. Let's go. Awesome. Can I... Can I yeah. Try so which lift. one which one of you wants to be the one rolling bronze or grit to move the couch? Uh I'll count the other one as being a helper and adding plus two to your roll. Oh, what's okay. um what's your score? Uh twelve for brawn and then eight for You have a twelve in brawn too? That's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll assist you. Oh, um, okay. Because I'm rolling the, really well. Yeah, the strong party is down here. <sighs> I thought, yeah, I thought she might be a little scrappy, but yeah, a little like flighty. It. Okay, I'll do my best. Here we go. There you go. You got this. I got yeah. a six plus one is a seven plus, plus two, two is a nine. It's nine. Basic Between the math. two of you, you managed to get this fainting couch off of Gage, and oh, sure gosh. enough, I'm we'll need back, help baby. or. I guess we could probably just try to find an exit here instead of it trying looks... to hoist you back up. I don't think we can do that. Yeah. It looks yeah. different, though. Should, should we all go down there? Yeah, but there's probably an exit. If there there's someone up exit. there with you, there has to be an exit, right? There has to be yeah. some way to access this place. I mean, yeah, I, there's got to be a door out like, of here. Yeah, that doesn't look like there's building codes for this, but you can't have a place that you can't get into or out of. Yeah. yeah. Building codes didn't exist back then. This was like, this was built hundreds of years ago. That's what I'm saying. It's really old. There might be a, one of those old oh. dumbbell waiters things to get up here. You're a dumbbell you're a dumb waiter. Yeah, okay, ah. those are two of the two. All three of us <laughs> in <laughs> unison. You're a dumbbell waiter. Dumbbell waiter. <laughs> Jinx. Perfect. Um. We can get the sodas later. Just look. He, he laughs and then immediately regrets it the moment that his arm moves and Ugh. you see you see the bone kind of pushing yeah, just, against the flesh just don't 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 look at it okay um I'm, no I'm not I'm not you've got the flashlight we're gonna try to find an exit because there's no way we're hoisting we're hoisting engage and there's no way he's getting there there's no way yeah. I'm getting there it's yeah, too no, high high like maybe if if somebody gives us a like if one of you gives one somebody else a boost, one of us can get back up. But I can't climb with one hand. No. Okay. Okay. At least I got my knife, and he holds it in his good hand. 
you have your knife. I have yeah. you, and Jesse has the flashlight. Yeah. Let's go. Got the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> and he puts the, he brings the knife to his mouth and he uses his teeth to open it. All right. I'm not left-handed, but I'll I'm gonna try my best. Don't figure it out. Yeah. 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 The knife goes in the other guy. Yeah, thanks. I, I Remember, the putty in goes away from you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that everybody's here to give me tips on how to use my knife. Uh, that your knife, or did you steal that from your dad? Shut up. As he gets loud, <laughs> there it sounds like uh, a hollow thunk resonates through the basement, like a mannequin part has fallen. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, this shit's creepy. No, we just got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Lead the way, Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Jesse. It's through here. Okay. <laughs> what are the two boys upstairs doing? Going mm. towards that sound with a candelabra in my hand. Yeah, I'll follow him with the uh, fire poker in my hand. Okay. Uh, so you're climbing upstairs <laughs> to the second story? Mm -hmm. Yes. The ooh. door... At, ooh at the top of the, the landing looks like the same scratches that were inside the house are now on the outside of the door. Ooh. The hallway looks like the, the room. cobwebs have been pulled down and they're in thick snake-like uh, kind of like discarded skin uh, remnants littering the room. That's creepy. W were these here before? No. They were not. He's gonna poke one of the... Wait, there are no mannequins in this room. Just cobwebs? Or... Just the cobwebs, yeah. They're yeah. littering the floor. They look like they were hastily oh. kind of ripped down, uh, but they've bundled up in such a way that they look like discarded snakeskin. Mm -hmm. Anything in the, I don't know, like upper corners and so on that might indicate what was here or no, just any reason remnant. just to walk through? No, it's, it's been cleared. Like yeah. before, it, was, it, was, it looked like just this kind of hazy mess of a hallway now it's clear you can see the the moonlight kind of coming in from the window at the end of the hallway okay who's going first hmm? let's still go um, first okay. do we want to go to the other rooms or do we want to go check out the kitchen or, sorry, the other stairway? Yeah. You start creeping over. There's a thump on the other side of the house. Same floor. And then it sounds like nails sliding across walls getting closer back to back <laughs> yeah, let's go back to back <laughs> uh, Nicholas will turn around to put his back against Je against Marshall and you'll notice that the archway that led into this hallway is no longer there but um Something's missing here. I what? Tap Nick. I tap um. Marshall on the shoulder. The the the, the archway is gone. It's, it's the house is changing. The two doors are still there in the hallway. The stairway that leads to the kitchen is still there. Is the stairway that led to the living room still there? But. The, the stairway that leads to the kitchen is still there. It's still visible there. Like you can see the, no, the the other stairway. You can't see it, so you don't know if it's still there. 
but the wall continues like it doesn't it never had an archway to begin with okay we're gonna keep going forward i guess we're in it now you're right we shouldn't have split it <laughs> so which one of us is walking backwards Or walking sideways, looking. No, crab walking? <laughs> yeah. I like it. There's a moment where you come up to the, fr the first door on your way to the kitchen. Who's the one that's facing it? I'll do events. Odds. Uh, I am. Okay. <clears throat> the door looks molded over, rotting. There is are openings, little kind of slim slits that have eroded themselves into the doorway, and you can see the room beyond. Looks like there might have been some kind of canopy bed, massive master bedroom style uh, space behind the door and then as you're tilting your head kind of trying to catch as much of the room as you can a shadow creeps over the door and you see an eye blink back at you and then it slides away I jump back as far as I can and scream okay so the two downstairs will hear a scream as we cut back to them. Jesse is leading the way. Are you no. being careful not to topple any mannequins over? Or are you? Yeah, they're they're creepy and they're covered in germs and I'm not touching them. Okay. Yeah, dust too. You're yeah. allergic, aren't you? I'm really allergic to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gage <laughs> bumps into one as he's walking. Uh, and it swings around, and its hand comes up and just kind of places itself on Darcy's shoulder. Ah, that's not funny, you big jerk. I'm trying to help you. She's going to flick it, it off her shoulder. I didn't do it on purpose. Uh -huh. It does not come off. And as you go to Ooh. flick it off, it actually grips onto your ah. shoulder. Ah, your knife. Get get it off. Get it off. What? What? It's just a mannequin, and he kind of stabs get at it. Off. The moment he stabs the mannequin, the hand releases you. Ah, God, this is creepy. Okay, don't fall about? down a, stairs ever again. I'm yeah, like I planned this. It gripped me. It gripped on. It held on. It, it, I don't know. How? It's past cool. my bedtime. I think it's just past like, my bedtime. Maybe it's got yeah, like it's, a kung fu grip. What? Do they have that? And he, you I don't see know. How long have they had kung fu? Shut up. He hands Darcy the knife. Here, hold on. Let me see. Uh, and just okay. like typical white people, uh, he investigates <laughs> the mannequin. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> true, uh, true. Like a good classic white person, he's going to investigate. <laughs> and we're going to go into the creepy place and split up. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, cause, that's Because if it was me, we'd be like, all I want to start this. Uh... <laughs> This is not where we want to be right now. Uh, but he puts his hand in the mannequin's hand. And he moves the thing. There's a clicking noise every time, kind oh. of uh, like there's a setting for these mannequin uh, articulation points. Uh, and he's like, see, there's, there's nothing wrong here. And again, mm. you hear, Darcy. That's not funny. Who's doing that? What? what? I'm calling my what? name in a creepy what? way. Keep just I'm, go, go. We're... She's gonna start like. Yeah, you saw that both praying. of us are in front of you. Yeah, seriously. Careful with the knife. Careful with the knife. Oh yeah, I guess she has a knife now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a knife now. Perfect. Darcy's armed. Yeah, and uh, clumsily dangerous. <laughs> She's mm -hmm. like flailing it around. It is perfect. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he Darcy is now the, the villain. Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally. Darcy stabs Surprise. us all to death. 
Because <laughs> uh, you yeah, won't you, stop calling your name. You're sliding <laughs> through mannequins. Sometimes you'll bump one Ugh. in such a way that it leaves a little dust cloud. Uh, and Jesse has a little sneezing fit here and there. <laughs> but you will notice that you come up to an open area that there are no mannequins and there's two large stone slabs uh there is a skeleton sitting atop one of them and then there's a bit of lumber some metal uh, a couple of cogs and everything on the other stone slab uh, and there looks to be as you bring the flashlight up on the slabs uh, pentagrams and uh, hieroglyphics of source, like pictographs of a language uh, and something similar to uh, what's it called? Uh, the uh, kind of Arabic, kind of swoopy, mm. very Sanskrit? Uh, close Sanskrit? to Sanskrit, yeah. 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 Uh... yeah. They must have been hmm. really big Halloween people. With the skeletons. The mannequins. I mean, is that a fake skeleton? It doesn't I, look like a skeleton in the science room. I don't I don't want to think of it any other way. You have um, so you yes. the knife. Yeah. Well, I mean, they didn't really have plastic back then. They, if it's... Anyway, it's... Brainy guy, what does this say? <laughs> yeah, can you oh. read it, Jesse? Sure. Yeah, of course I can. It says, fuck you, Gage. I don't know it actually does. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it does. Okay, I'll, um... I'll roll to see you. Okay, well, is that smarts? <laughs> <laughs> Difficulty <Brains>. 30. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> brave. <laughs> To try to convince him, it would be charm. Uh, no, no, I want to try to read it. I want to try to read it. Oh, you want to? Try? Yeah, brains. All right, let's do this. Man, give me a brain Seventeen. Brain. Seventeen. Ooh. There's definitely a lot of uh, shared body language as far as the pictographs are concerned. Mm. Uh, it's very much a. If not Egyptian, it shares very much similarities with like the hieroglyphic uh, cartouches that you've seen in your history book or on like different uh, history movies that they've played for you when the teacher doesn't feel like actually teaching your class. <laughs> um, but everything shows uh, the Anubis figure taking or giving uh, souls. Huh. That's really weird. Um, what? What? What's it say? Oh, it's got like this... This figure here is like kind of like a, a Anubis. Anub um, Anubis. An Anu Anubis, the, 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 the god head? of the... Yeah, the dog, the Egyptian um, myth. Oh. He, uh, he, um, he weighs souls. Yeah, but what's in the what afterlife? An Egyptian, what's an Egyptian drawing doing in Massachusetts? Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but um, uh, he's taking souls. Taking souls for what? I mean, this is a job. bad vibe area. Oh yeah, big bad vibe. I think this is. There doesn't seem to be like a door in this area, does there? Not so far, but there's okay. still plenty of plenty of basement left to explore. Um, All right. Okay, as... let's just let's just move quick. Yeah, yeah. Taking uh, souls doesn't sound fun. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, there's a clack, and as. Jesse kind of brings the, the light back onto the mannequins. Uh, they've all turned around. Oh, no. Were they just no. turned around? Different? Maybe they don't think we noticed. Let's just go. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't think they were looking in this direction when we walked by them. 
you have to think, just, just sh shut up. Oh, nothing's different. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, can't, nothing's they changed. They totally don't have working ears either. Okay. Like, hey, hey. No, screw hey. this. Let's go and just start like yeah. moving as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's like, all right, we're all we're on the same page. Like mentally looking at all of you, and the mm -hmm, moment he sees mm -hmm, you start mm -hmm. hurrying, he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> start hurrying his pace. <clears throat> Upstairs, after uh, brave Nicholas jumped back at the uh, eyeball that looked <laughs> back at him, what are you two getting into? Of course, I, I told Moshe that there's an eyeball looking back at me up here. Man, let's, let's just get out of here. Let's just go get our friends and leave. The oh, we can't hear you, Marshall. Like... Yep, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm 100% in favor of that. Let's get out of here. The thump is heard on the other side of the house. Uh, and as you get to the stairway leading down to the kitchen, you'll notice that there's a sudden orange glow that meets you at the landing that overlooks the kitchen. You'll see that there are... Um, a couple of maids coming in and out. Uh, you can smell the food that's being prepared. You can hear uh, a violin uh, and a guitar from somewhere else in the house. Um, it is not what you remember. This looks like the house has been lived in. Uh, and behind you, the paint looks fantastic the house looks lived in new the doors are open you can hear the sound of children giggling uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna walk downstairs gripping the iron tighter and like my back to the wall as I walk down slowly. Uh, I'm not leaving you alone, so I'm going to help you. <laughs> yeah. One of the ladies looks up at you. Oh, ma, what, what, is, what is you doing? Uh, you look like you've seen the devil warmed over. Come here, have a sit. What, what, can I ask no. what year it is? Because I'm confused what's going on. What do you mean, boy? How do you not know what year it is? I, I hit my head. Had something to drink. Come here. Pretend. Let me look at you. Um, she pulls out a stool for you. I'm sit a spell. Definitely not gonna sit down. Like no, I'm I'm okay. I think. They hand you. They, they well. They they slide a plate towards the two of you. Uh, here, here. Have have some. The the sugar will will help you uh, if you're feeling low and it's cut pomegranates. I, I'm allergic to pomegranate. Oh, I'm sure I can find you an apple or something. I, I'm allergic to apples as well. <laughs> he really is allergic allergies. to everything. Yeah. She looks at Marshall. What about you, son? Here, have a, I'm not have a taste. Oh, a little bit of pomegranate never hurt no one. <laughs> where, where are your, where are your bosses? Masters is outside entertaining. Did you get lost from your parents? They're outside. Oh. You need you need somebody to take you outside? Oh, Matilda, what? come here. I, I, what I time is it right around. now? What do you mean what time is it? It's after it's after hours. It's close the, to the witching hour. The witching hour? Yeah. Are you not here for the celebration? What celebration? Oh, it's 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 quite a treat. It's almost started too. You can see it outside and she points to the window and you can see that there's about to be a lunar eclipse. So it's a ritual? Oh, we don't call it that. 
That's what the folks on the mainland call it. This is a communion. This isn't your first communion, is it? I remember my first time. Whoo! Can we get to a window to see out there? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see that there's a gathering of people. All of them yeah. are dressed in Puritan era clothing. I'm, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Is it what? Is there any other Slow. time? Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm going to slowly back up upstairs. Okay. I'm, not, oh, I'm no. still gripping the uh, the yeah. fire poker. The, as you start to take a step back, kind of back paddling away from them, you feel two hands just kind of come up on your shoulders and, and hold you there. Can Not I please. poke them with the fire? <laughs> yeah, sure. Make a, make a fight roll. Fight? Yeah, fight. No L. be the first contested rule so we get to see uh some rules i got a two i got a, a two. one plus one i i fair that hard oh no that's definitely an adversity token for you uh hey i get two yeah i rolled a six so it's a difference of four uh so the character fails but not too badly there might be some very very minor short-term consequences uh, but these won't shift the story for more than a minute or two. The character has tried and almost succeeded. Uh, so you'll turn around and just start to swing uh, like you are uh, Bobby Boucher trying to tackle uh, an offensive lineman. And the hand that was on your shoulder just kind of comes up and grabs the poker uh, right as it's about to make impact. And you see this lovely looking old woman um her hair is graying there are streaks of gray through it it looks like it might have been auburn at some point um but it's slowly losing its fight with the gray hair uh the eyes are worn there's the the coming in of the crow's feet it looks like she's led a happy life uh and even now when she kind of is startled slightly by your uh, assault there's still a smile on her face and her eyes uh, twinkle as she opens them. Oh my, what a, what a spirit we got in this one, eh? And she'll force the poker down to her waist level. She's still letting you hold on to it, but also holding on to it herself. Now. You boys are here for communion, yes? Uh, I, I, I think. No one, no one told us what we were here for. Oh, let me get you a chalice. Get, get these boys a chalice. And the, the woman who was trying to persuade you with the with the pomegranates brings over a simple kind of very Indiana Jones and the last crusade wooden goblet. Uh, it looks like the same bottle that gauge brought is what they poured into this goblet. Yeah. Uh, what is this? I have, I have allergies. I can't have too much. Oh no, this is, this is just fine. This is, the wine of the sacrament. This is the gift. I'm, a, I'm allergic to giving. grapes. I can't have wine. Oh, no. it's. I'm not saying that it's wine, son. It's a figure of speech. What's in it? I might die if drink, I drink it. Drink deep. And she motions for you to, to drink it, and the woman's kind of edging it ever closer to your mouth. Marshall's gonna um, stumble and bump into him by accident and <laughs> try to spill the drink. Excellent. Uh, I will let you either choose flight or charm. Um. Oh, come on. There. And no matter what, I want to use an adverse token to help get a plus two to that. Okay. 
We'll do fight. Flight? Oh, flight. Yeah, we'll do flight. Okay. Nice. That should be a good roll for you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize how uh, specifically helpful it would be. And so it's My plus peaches. One. Uh, plus two more from his adversary token. Of course I roll a five. Oh, no. Uh, so you'll get an adversity token for that. Uh, and as you're... So you rolled a five, so you got a seven? No, I rolled a three, so I got a five. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's terrible. It uh, is terrible. You, As you're about to fake this fall, one of the other servants just comes dashing over almost inhumanly fast and catches you. Oh, oh, oh. Easy there, young master. Watch your hands feet, off, sir. <laughs> Don't <laughs> touch me. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to accept the glass, mm -hmm. but can I clumsily drop it? Okay, sure. <laughs> you right, sure right. I'm gonna act like I did not mean to? Yeah. I will let you know if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, you're gonna let go of the poker. I have two hands. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in with my left hand. My right hand has poker. And okay. Like, accept the glass very lightly and drop it. Sure. Roll, and let's see what happens. Uh, so what do I, what should I roll? Flight, uh, charisma, or? Flight, flight or charm. Flight or charm? Yep. I'm going to do charm. Okay. Yes. That is a... Okay. Um, you masterfully, if a uh, acting masterclass could be written for the performance you give, uh, actors would be on a different level right now. You take the glass, you fumble it ever so gracefully and you spill the contents and where they land on the floor you see the house revert to what you remember it being old dilapidated and worn and as you hear her say oh now this just won't do and you look down you see that her hands have become bone-like and clawed her face is withered and skeletal with just parchments of the flesh kind of hanging down off of it the hair completely withered away the body half floating half kind of on its tippy toes like a like a ballerina on point and we shift down to the basement as this site takes your <laughs> uh the whole ocular cavity into question um <laughs> downstairs you find a stairway it's a corkscrew stairway going up. He it's somewhere away from the mannequins. Yeah. Let, let's go. Yeah. Rod iron, old. Um, it bounces every time that you take a step on it. Um, it is no longer anchored to the building itself. And as Darcy mm. is about to take a step up, a hand wraps around her wrist. It is one of the mannequins. Uh, it looks like her older brother. Oh! The detail is immaculate, except for the fact that he looks like he's made of wood. Um, and the eyes look like, even though they're glass orbs, they look like they're in a constant state of, like, wanting to cry. Like, they always have that kind of watery texture to them. Um, and there is this face of pleading in his uh, in his stance in his grip it's not aggressive in any way shape or form he just kind of reached out to stop you uh but gage looks back at you and he screams the moment he sees the mannequin jesse jesse the mannequin yes the mannequin's got darcy d d donnie uh, uh. 
And she will be frozen in not sure what to do. Gage tries to dropkick the mannequin. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a one and oh, no. <laughs> he falls over the side of the, the, the stairway oh, and you're you one hear set his... percent shy of five thousand dollars. Oh no. Uh but you hear uh the loud crack as his knee hits the fl the concrete floor. Uh, he's probably broken his knee now at the same time. Oh, jeez. He lets out a cry of pain. We're gonna, have, we're gonna be carrying him out in a box at the end of this. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, can can I can Jesse shove the uh, the um, the mannequin off of Darcy? Yeah. Uh, brawn or grit, your choice. Oh boy, we're gonna go brawn. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's a six. Nice. Um. We'll say that he has a d6. He rolled a four, so you push him. Uh, and there's a clicking noise, and the hand remains on Darcy's wrist, but the mannequin falls back. And it oh. clatters with a heavy cluck, 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 cluck. Are you okay? Y yeah, that was really weird. Um, She's going to try to get the hand off and without throw it to it the ground. Yeah, without it being connected yeah. to the body, it, it easily comes off. Okay. Um, but you also hear the thuk, 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 as now the all the mannequins are starting to Ooh, no. come towards you. Okay, How run, far run. away is Gage? Can, okay. They're all. You might just have to right? save ourselves. Yeah, Gage is just there at the bottom of the steps. Oh, okay. Hop, Gage, hop. <laughs> so so we're, now we're over five thousand. I'll, I'll grab. I'll, I'll grab yeah, the. Ooh over my shoulder, Woo! and we're going to try to run up the stairs. Yep. He is trying his best to hop, and every so often he will put pressure on his oh. bad foot, on his bad oh. leg, and he just screams, groans, uh, trying not to scream, rather. Um, so, um, we have some re-rolls that came in, by the way. Excellent. Uh, oh, nice. So, I got a re-roll from Dork Knight. Um, nice. Actually, about an hour ago, so I'll, I'll just oh. kind of keep that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm okay with you guys banking it. Ravnos, you have some re rolls. Oh, uh, there's a GM re roll. Okay. And then there's, I think, two re rolls for you. And then Jacob spent five bucks on something. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see if, uh, I just five Gage... bucks gets over five thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. Because I feel like nice. Tony, totally that set would have been bad. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Gage does not break his leg, his knee, uh, and he does end up drop kicking the mannequin. Uh, oh, nice! But it doesn't let go of Darcy, so that we can still have Jesse's heroic moment of uh, pushing it off of her. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, you don't need to to hold him up. Okay. He kind of uh, will Perfect. now that he can. Now that he has <laughs> his good feet. Uh, the moment that you pull the arm off, he kind of soccer kicks it into one of the other mannequins, and it creates this whole clatter of uh, bowling pins, kind of just this loud cacophonous kind of clanking against wood against wood. Um, and there is this painful groan that you hear reverberating in the room itself. Oh, no. Uh, and the stairs start to rust away uh, like something is eating at them. Oh, God. Run and faster. You hear, you hear your brother's voice. Don't leave. <laughs> and it's been your brother's voice this whole time. Oh. Uh, so I will need flight oh. or grit rolls. <laughs> <laughs> To uh to ascend the stairs. All right, let's go. That's let's go. Uh, that's an eight on grit. Nice. I got an eight for gauge too, so he's not useless. About time. I got. <laughs> he a did seven. a thing. <laughs> he brought cool a enough. knife. He did something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This guy. This guy. Listen. This guy is not Hannibal from the A team. Okay. He's. 
He's barely uh, Murdoch, okay? <laughs> uh, but you guys rush up the stairs, and as you clamber into what what would have been a forgotten kind of uh, indoor greenhouse, you see that it is lush, it is vibrant. There's the topiaries of the these couples uh, dancing or greeting each other or kind of just um, pairs here and there. Uh, and as you come up, you'll hear the sound of wood creaking and all of them will turn to face the three of you. Oh! Yeah. Uh, but you hear the sound of a very thick goblet kind of falling and through an archway at the far end of the of the greenhouse, you'll see that Nicholas and Marshall uh, are facing off against what looks to be a undead uh, woman that is floating, uh, just maybe a few inches off the ground. Oh gosh, sorry, how, um, sorry. Um, my brain did a weird thing. How far away from them are we? Maybe sixty feet. Okay. And we're still in the house. Far. Yeah, you're in the house. So we okay. climb, you we can climb see, the stairs. Yeah, you can see the greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, the, there is a stained uh, glass yeah. panels that extend from one side of that greenhouse to the other. Uh, and the, the house does not look old and forgotten. And like it hasn't been lived in for a century or more. Uh, it definitely looks like there's people. You can hear a violin in the distance and a guitar, like a classical Spanish guitar. Um, and you can see shapes outside uh, past some of the kind of candlelight. Um, they look like shadows. Uh, mm. They look like they're just kind of passing, but you can hear the murmuring starting to turn into a chant. Ooh. And above you, you see that we're about eight sixth or fifth of a way through a uh, lunar eclipse. Ooh. Um, can I use my treasure hunter ability? Yes. You sure yes. can. That's um, to spend an adversity dice yep. and to find something, find useful. something useful. What do you want to find? What would help you the most in this situation? Uh, let's see here. Laser. <laughs> an orbital cannon. Yeah, right. <laughs> Napalm. Um. Yeah, something. Maybe just like an inkling of like something that I could like grab to disturb their ritual. Okay. Or something There's, like that. Every so often, you'll notice that there are uh, these equivalent of canop canopic jars. Uh, they they have the same kind of Anubis head on top of them. Uh, if you look, if you pick one up out of a sudden, like uh, using your knife to pop it open, you'll smell this kind of tar smell, and there's a sheen to the black liquid inside. Um, it definitely smells flammable. Oh, nice! I have matches. You do have matches. My backpack. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pocket that or put it in my backpack. So grab it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, you you will have to hold on to it. Uh, oh, okay, I'll just grab in it the, in the backpack. The lid will just spill the contents. Fair enough. Uh, but it's not it's not heavy. It's not. It's maybe like five pounds of liquid. Um, Perfect. But the the old undead creature kind of turns to look in your direction once you grab it and Nicholas and Marshall will not notice that your whole group is there. But Now's the time then. <laughs> now is the time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to like light it and then like uh -huh. throw it at this thing. The, the jar lights up. It is Ooh. the equivalent of Greek fire. And the moment you toss it, it comes crashing against the closest pair of topiary beings and immediately lights them on fire. And there is a screech 
uh, inhuman, animalistic, primal that digs down deep into the worst fears that your an that your ancestors could have possibly faced when they were still trying to control fire, to control tool work, things like that. It is something that has been with you eternally since the beginning of, of civilization, of, of the coming together and the reason why humans come together. And the old undead woman in front of uh, Nicholas screeches. It's almost like all of them are doing it at the same Ooh. time, almost like a hive. Uh, but her mouth just extends too much, almost like in the mummy when he goes to release the sand, the jaw just kind of clicks, clacks, and comes down. Um, and instead of a tongue, there is this serpent that comes up and out and just snaps at Nicholas uh, because Sorry, buddy. Nicholas is afraid of snakes. Uh, and uh, that is one of his fears. Uh, you will suffer a minus two to all your rolls while you're in the same scene as the snake. Uh, okay. So who um, wants to go first as you figure as out what to do? As she's um, reacting, can I try and pull the thing back? Yeah. Yeah. Go on a grit. Um, Brawn or grit? Let's go with Brawn. You got it. That's a four. Okay. Uh, I will remind you, not because I rolled higher than you or anything, but <laughs> just to remind you that you oh, yeah, can got... spend adversity to increase your die rolls. One at a one for one basis. Oh wait, can I help him? You can help him, and that would give yeah. you two points because you're loyal. I will help him. Okay. Point. That brings you up to six. Are you happy with six? Um, and I can only spend one at a time, correct? I can't spend no, two myself. No, you, can, you can blow them all if you want to. I'll I'll blow two myself. Okay, that brings you to eight. <laughs> uh, and there is a bit I'm of a struggle. <laughs> There, you can blow uh, them all yourself, Jacob. Just do it. Blow them all out of here. Mm. Uh, you, you have beaten my role enough that I'm going to give you a freebie that when you grab the the poker with your other hand and you pull some uh, momentum into your grab, you actually come up and hit the. Uh, the side of the face and the snake hisses and kind of starts to try to, to bite at you, but you've knocked her away from you and you've pulled the poker back into your possession. Who wants to go next? Nice. Marshall uh, or Jesse? Marshall. What Marshall, do, do it. Uh, okay. Sturt. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Um... So the candelabra. Yeah, you do. So I'm going to light the candles. Okay. And start chucking them at whatever looks flammable. <laughs> can I help you? Can I, like, pass the matches? And yeah. that can be my assist action to give you plus sure. on your roll. Yeah. Nice. Toss, toss the matches at him. <laughs> um, and the you throw a candle towards one of the jars... Uh, and as the fire kind of creeps up towards it, the clay pops. And as the liquids come out, more fire starts to ensue, like magma kind of crawling out of this Kanapka jar and kind of eating up as much of the topiary as possible. And you start to remember that everybody who told you about the Lansing state always warned you not to go into the greenhouse because it was the first thing to burn down uh, back when the house fell into disrepair. Uh, Jesse, what do you want to do for this round? Okay. Uh, she's on. Th there's a big fire going on. Yeah. Uh, what is the most immediate dating? What's that? The shadows outside are screeching 
it looks like they're clawing at the glass to try to get in. They do not like what is happening. Uh, what did I say I brought with me? I press a... Uh, shadows. What did we bring with us? You're prepared, so you could spend adversity for... I will... Uh, yeah, I'll spend two item. adversity. What's something useful that I could pull out of my bag as a scout? Hmm. That's a good question. A uh, pocket knife? <laughs> your own pocket knife? That you were engaged for My bringing? slightly larger pocket knife. <laughs> like, like, oh, so you could your have Swiss a, a Army slingshot. knife. Your Swiss uh, Army knife. Swiss Army knife is good. Uh, a slingshot. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking slingshot. Slingshot. Um, yeah. A yo yo. I mean, do these shadows seem corporeal? They, it's strange to, because they, they kind of look like they do, but then there's moments where the light catches the color in the right way, and they don't look physical at all. They look more like manifestations. Okay. Um, but they're outside the window. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you could have a walkie-talkie, like one of those long-range walkie-talkies. I don't know who that would contact, but uh, can I, I? You know what? I'm gonna try to. I've got a flashlight. I'm gonna see if I can try to like maybe maybe disorient or blind them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would I use for that? Um, uh, nothing. I'll give that to you for free. You. All right. So let's just go. Yeah, you go over. You start shining the light through through the colored glass, and wherever you hit the light, because of the intensity of a flashlight, is so much more than a candle uh, anywhere that you shine the flashlight you see them just discorporate there's just this explosion kind of like a Mega Ooh. Man villain of the shadows uh, they hate light unbecoming and as you move the light you see them slowly start to kind of re-manifest themselves it, oh, no, it you takes don't. a lot <laughs> <laughs> start shining it like a lightsaber um, the fire starts to spread and this creature screeches in your face, Nicholas, and the snake is going to try to take a bite at you. Uh, how would you like to avoid this? you want to just take the bite as brawn, or do you want to try to get out of the way it's flight? Uh, or do you have... I'll try to get out of the way. Yeah, I'll flight. Okay. So go ahead and roll your flight. Loaded. Nice. 20. 20. Whoa. Yeah. The, you don't know if it's just the adrenaline of you facing your fear or if it's just the uh, freshness of whatever action movie you saw recently. <laughs> the snake shoots forward. You clamor out of the way. Uh, and as you make some distance, the the old hag screeches at you and starts to say something in a language you don't understand and slowly you hear the house kind of eating itself you can hear the wood cracking and uh, churning like this thing is trying to not let you out who wants to go next Ooh. uh if I look around, is there... Do I see a door? There is the, is the, the French it? double doors. Yeah, there's two French double doors on either side of the uh, the greenhouse. So you have a let's way out. Let's use one of them. Okay. Yeah. Shine, shine the flashlight and let's, let's get out. Shine flashlight and run. Shine flashlight yes. and run. Get the yeah. hell out of here. Get the... Yep. You shine the flashlight towards one of the double doors. Everybody has enough flight to not have to worry about anything. Uh, and as you come out, the shadows start to try to wrap themselves around you. You create this tunnel with your flashlight. And as you come out to where the old topiaries, the kind of forgotten outside garden that looked dilapidated and overgrown, you turn around and the house is as you remember it, dilapidated, forgotten. 
On fire? Abandoned. It, yeah, it's on fire. It is not on fire. Ooh. You can, you can see the headlights of a car <laughs> pulling up. Uh, and as it does, the car that arrived earlier, you see the red and blues of the police. And there is this silhouette of one of the deputies coming over and uh, presumably trying to dissuade the varsity football team from doing what they're going to do. Oh. You have survived the Lansing Estate. Ooh. You have survived a game of kids on bikes, and you are going to live to tell the tale, at least for now. I didn't get to use the garlic. Amazing. Which they would have that in your mouth. You just eat <laughs> like an onion at that point. You're just no <laughs> vampires because they were undead. But thank That's you true. guys for being a part of this and for letting me do this for you. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Having. I would yeah, absolutely watch this movie or this TV show. Yeah. <laughs> like this, this was super super cool. <laughs> no. It was super oh. cool, fairly stupid, yeah. but like in a good way. <laughs> Uh, let's go in reverse kids. order uh, to let everybody kind of give uh, give their their plug, uh, and then I'll turn it over to Kelly for. Uh, so we'll leave Kelly for last. Uh, let's go with uh, last. Jacob. <laughs> Hello, I'm. Where they can find you, Jacob. Uh, comes to not cosplay here on Twitch. Um, I try to stream, but I haven't really had the motivation to do it. But I usually am here for Dark Tales for Extra Life because gotta help those kids. You gotta help That's the true. kids. Uh, Simon, let everybody know <laughs> about you. Uh, hi, I'm Simon. Um, I uh, can be found at, on Twitter and other Instagram, etc. at Tabletop Almanac and do reviews over at tabletopalmanac.thewordpress.com. No, sorry, dot wordpress, no the. Um, <laughs> and it can be also found uh, over on the Onyx Path channel uh, Wednesdays second Wednesdays of every month doing a Mage of the Ascension 20th anniversary introductory series. Nice. Um, and no, otherwise it'll only plug Extra Life lately. So <laughs> um, Extra Life, yeah. Uh, donate yeah, give, kids. Yeah, give to the out. kids. Give to yeah. the kids. Uh, Caitlin, where can people find you? And what are you up to? Hello, I'm Caitlin. Uh, I go by Petite Medic on all social medias. I don't yeah, I just do a lot of cosplay and stuff. Um, I would like to stream though, so follow that follow that Twitch. Do um, it, do it. <laughs> but you can find me here on Dork Tales um, during Extra Life and not during Extra Life. So you'll be seeing me around. You'll be seeing me around. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I've been the Ravnos Archon. I have my own Twitch channel here uh, on Twitch, uh, where I do only tabletop gaming. Although I might, I might start doing something uh, else. Uh, but you know, I have Vampire of the Masquerade. I have Legend of the Five Rings. I have Werewolf of the Wild West. I have uh, Seventh Sea, and I'm going to be starting an Old Gods of Appalachia uh, stream. So mm. keep an eye out for that. Um, but as always, thank you uh, for your donations, for helping us out. It is a great, great read. I absolutely love it. Um, but, you know, we did this uh, for the kids. It's a great cause, Yay. and it's a great bunch of people. You know, I can't ask for anything more. So thank you, Kelly, for giving me the opportunity for that, and thank you for, for joining us, uh, you at the audience. Uh, Kelly, give it, take us away. And I've been Kelly. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Ravenous, thank you for for coming here running this game and for being patient as we all faded and slowly turned our brains turned to molasses throughout the night. <laughs> uh, I could see Simon starting to fade off cause it's almost four in the morning for him. Um, for the kids are doing, yeah. you guys are doing yeah. strong for the kids. Oh, uh, this is game number three for me today. So, oh, Hey, nice. thank you so much. Uh, we crossed the $5,000 threshold under your Yay! watch Ravnos. Uh, mm. You're a, you're a hero. And it has been a pleasure. You're one of my favorite people to play under. And uh, you just, you really love the narrative of stories and it really reflects through. So thank you for coming and running. Mm. You're, you're great. great. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I love your storytelling. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's, fant it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, everybody go follow him. Go and check out the Mage yeah. games. Uh, I, I'm in some of them. If you go yeah. look at that, um, where I play a coked out 
police detective. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, so folks, we'll be back tomorrow morning, uh, to, to this morning, uh, yep. in about yep. seven hours, uh, yep. with, yep. Uh, at 8 a.m. with, uh, Trasdor versus the world, a level up fifth edition <laughs> advanced game where everybody fights Trazelta. Uh, and yep. it's going to be so dumb. <laughs> I hope you come and love it. Uh, Brick Harris is going to run it. It's going to be fantastic. And then stick around because we got a lot of games tomorrow. So thank you so much for helping us achieve our goals. Uh, we will see you next time. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.